All right, uh, let's look at the homework 3.1, uh, problem number 9. All right, so I have this uh, a rational function, and we want to find the critical numbers for the first part. All right, so uh, let's do that. All right, so to find a critical number, uh, we need to find a derivative. So f prime of x is equal to, all right, so this is going to be a quotient rule, right? So I'm going to square the denominator. So you have x squared minus 16 squared, right? And derivative of the top is 2x times the denominator, which is x squared minus 16 minus, right, uh, the top x squared times derivative of the denominator, which is 2x. All right, so we have that. All right, let's clean it up. All right, so we have uh, something in common. So we still have a fraction. Uh, maybe just write down the denominator, which is uh, x squared minus 16 squared. All right. Then uh, we have a common factor. So you have here uh, 2x here. There's a 2x there, right? So I'm going to pull those guys out and uh, put it down here, right? So we have uh, 2x. All right, then we just have to kind of uh, combine the rest of it. Uh, you see that there's a x squared here. Oops, I'm going to use a different color there. All right, so we have uh, x squared here, and you have a minus x squared, so you can actually cancel those out, All right? So what you get is uh, there's a negative 16, right? And so that's it. So we have negative 16. All right, just clean it up. Uh, so you're going to have a negative uh, 16 times uh, 2 is uh, 32 x all over, all right, so you have uh, x squared minus 16 squared, all right? So first we set that guy equal to 0 to find a critical number, all right? So let's see, this is going to be, all right, uh, we need to set the uh, numerator equal to 0. Then uh, we can just divide through, right? So I'm going to divide through by negative 32 to get uh, x equals 0, right? So this is the uh, critical number of first kind, right? So uh, let's type it in, all right? So we just get uh, 0, all right? Let's check the answer. All right, I came back, and it uh, looks like we got the uh, critical number correctly. All right, then we're going to do uh, uh, increasing, decreasing uh, analysis. All right, so uh, what we want to do is that we're going to put uh, do the number line. So we're going to draw a number line here. All right, then we have x. All right, so I'm going to put, uh, so 0 is a critical number, and I'm going to put the 0 here. All right. And another thing that we need to worry about is that uh, if you look at the uh, uh, rational function, uh, this rational function is not defined at the positive 4 or negative 4. The way to see that would be uh, x squared. And if you factor out the denominator, you're going to get uh, x plus 4 and the x minus 4. So the function is not defined at the positive 4 or negative 4. So domain uh, of this function is all real numbers uh, not equal to uh, positive or negative 4. Right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a tick marks for those two. So here, negative 4 function is not defined. Here's a 4 uh, function is not defined. Right? Then we just need to look at the uh, sign of the derivative because we're doing uh, increasing, decreasing analysis. All right, so let's check the number. All right, any number less than 4. So I'll try negative 5. All right, any number between negative 4 and the 0. So I'll try negative 1. Any number between 0 and 4, I'll try 1. And any number bigger than 4, I'm going to try positive 5. All right. Then I'm just going to look at the, uh, let's see, which one is the easiest? Uh, probably down here. 
So I'm going to look at uh, this expression, which is the derivative. All right, and uh, one thing that you might want to notice is that uh, here, denominator got squared, so it's always positive. So we don't have to worry about the sign there. It's always positive there. All right, so let's try a negative 5. So if you put negative 5 there, negative 32 times negative 5 is definitely positive. All right, so you can see that the po oh, hold on a sec, uh, positive here. And then, so we know that uh, this is going to be positive, by by positive is positive, right? If you type in a, a, a plug in negative one, uh, same result, right? So it's going to be positive, right? If you type in positive one, then we can change that to, so numerator is now negative, right? So you have a negative sign. So therefore, um, negative divided by positive is negative, right? And if you put five, it's going to be the same result. So this is going to be negative there, right? So we know that uh, the function, original function f is uh, increasing before negative four and is still increasing before uh, neg uh, between negative four and zero and a decreasing there and also decreasing there, right? So let's try to, um, so, it, so it means that, that it's decreasing on this, in, uh, actually increasing on the interval from negative infinity to negative 4, and also between negative 4 and 0. All right, so let's uh, type it in. All right, increasing on uh, negative uh, infinity to uh, negative 4. And um, then also, maybe I'll take a union. Uh, then starting from 4 to uh, 0, right? And decreasing uh, from 0 to 4. And actually, I messed that up. It's negative 4 to 0, right? And then uh, take the union, uh, union, uh, union, uh, union, with um, 4 go all the way to positive infinity, right? Right, that's that. All right, so uh, let's check the answer. All right, uh, we got the uh, increasing, decreasing intervals correctly, and then we just have to find the correct picture. All right, so it's uh, in the beginning, basically increasing, increasing, after that, decreasing, decreasing. All right, so here, this one is increasing, increasing, decreasing, decreasing. So um, uh, number one is actually looks pr pretty con con uh, promising. Right here, increasing, increasing, increasing all the time. So number two is not the one. All right, this one is decreasing all the time, except for negative four and positive four. So that's not it. This is decreasing, decreasing, increasing, increasing. That's the opposite of what we want to do. We want increasing, increasing, decreasing, decreasing. So this is the answer. All right, let's check the answer. All right, I came back. So I look like uh, looks like we have the picture correctly as well. All right, uh, that's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.